my joke bag. Were you tracking it the whole way? Um, well, in practice, you know, we used to, we just run down there and then we look as soon as we get there and Sean was yelling at us talking about some. Then run out, hell Mary, you gotta look while you're running to track it, cause we we were gonna have better position hopefully, and that's what happened. Just tracking the ball and attacking it. I mean, you saw it the whole time, right? Mm -hmm. The whole time. I mean, you you thought it was yours beginning when? Um, when I realized when I was down there, I was I got there before our guys got there, so that's when I just figured, you know, but. Running down there, and by the time I looked back, the ball was in the air. And then I, out of seeing everybody where they was at, I mean, it was just clear. And I, you know, first one down there, jump, and everybody else play off you. Better than basketball skills, right? <laughs> back in the day. But you said the first one down there jumps, meaning the first eligible, the first receiver that gets down there is eligible jump. Well, lining up. I seen that, well, I didn't see, um, when we got to the sideline and talked about it, they got pressed just like I got pressed. So they had to maneuver around and go through, and I kind of had a, I just went inside and just ran. So when I when I got down there, I realized I got there first. So I just figured, you know, I'm the backside guy, so I'm supposed to get the tip balls, you feel me? So, yeah. Oh, you normally would mm -hmm. be, but you got there sooner than it was. Than everybody before. else, so. And what did Alvin mean when he said, or, uh, I can't remember who said it, but Gavin or Sean, something about the sidewalk being a, a landmark. He was calling it the sidewalk. The sidewalk? I don't know. Okay. He said the sidewalk. You do what? He threw a ball on the sidewalk? <laughs> he referred to a landmark. So oh, well, yeah, he throwing it to a spot, yeah. knowing that we're all going to one spot and just tracking the ball, basically, because who knows? I don't, I don't know if he had pressure or not. I just seen the ball. So, this is such a rare play. Alvin was saying to Hail Mary something you guys practice? <laughs> we do. Um, offense, one week offense jumps, next week defense jumps. So it's not like we're just getting all the Hail Mary. So if defense ever gets in a situation, then they're prepared for it too. Because like Alvin said, we practice it every week. And one week, like I said, one week offense jumps, then next week um, defense jumps. So just take turns because like you say, you never know when it's coming up. It could win the game. And like going to halftime, it could just be a big momentum boost. I caught one in college, my junior year, uh, Kentucky. Of course, I remember who it was against. <laughs> the second touchdown, when they go man, do you know that that's going to be your ball from the inside? Mm hmm. Um, um, you talk, talk about that for uh, Just a pick route, basically. And when they press, they press um, number two, Kenny. And my guy was pressed, but he was a little bit off. So I knew I had a little time to give Kenny the work. And Kenny did a great job. And I don't, I, tight end, I can't. Tight end did a great job too, and just ran. And it was a pitch and catch practice throw. So I'm just I'm um, glad we finally ran it. So there's like two levels of catch for your guy, low or not. Mm -hmm. So if he's playing off, then they try to make him go underneath, or it basically we throw it so. Whether defense, whatever defender play, he can't win. If he go over the top, it's going to be back shoulder. If he go underneath, it's going to be over the top. So all it takes is that little pick route and make, him, make it a cluster for him to go up under. When you see that 70-plus yard play that Jameis had with uh, Deontay, what goes through your mind? You didn't see me chasing him? He hit a little legs. I can't read your mind, but, Man, I was chasing him. I was smiling, running like a dog in the car. You know, but um, Jameis got a strong guard. De Deontay fastest guy on the team, so he say, you know, I don't give him that credit. Don't tell him I said, but um, just a great execution play, you know, um, safety bit and Deontay was running along and James can get the ball out there and that's exactly what happened. So I'm happy for him, I'm happy for, and that was right after the um, turnover, I think. So um, I know y'all asked Alvin about the turnover, but, um, you know, bounce back, you know, like I said, after that, Possession, he turned, we turned the ball over and went out there and threw a touchdown. So, like Alvin said, clear mindset, we got to step up and keep playing. Mark, when you guys are getting the ball near midfield, you got eight seconds left, you know the Hail Mary's coming. Like, what do you kind of think about before that play? Um, before the play, it was a punt, so we knew we were going to get the ball around midfield, and then we thought Alvin was going to run the punt back, but um, he got us enough yards and they was already talking about some um, Hail Mary, Hail Mary, y'all get ready for the Hail Mary. So 
like we practice it every week, so we know what to do. We know how to execute it, and it showed today. How often do you catch it? Since you said you're supposed to be the, normally the guy getting it. That was my first time catching one. Yeah. <laughs> like I said, I'm the backside, so I, by the time I get there, everybody else is normally already there. So, but that was the first time. So when do you? At what point in that play do you make the adjustment to instead of doing that? I'm leaving for it, like um, around the goal line or sooner? We practice it, you know, one guy jumps, the other guys, you know, around. But in the heat of the game, if I see a ball, I'm attacking. I don't care if I'm jumping over my teammate, my the defender. And if we miss it, now I'll just, you know, get them that time. Get yelled out by Sean because, you know, Sean. Did you, did, you adjust in the area? did you adjust in the area that? It looked like you kind of went out and the back a little bit to make the catch. Uh, probably. I got to watch the film. But I, didn't, I haven't seen it yet, but from what I remember, just running and kind of seeing the ball already thrown and knowing we was already in the end zone, just try to cradle it because I knew a lot of defenders and hands were going to be in there. So uh, I kind of bodied it. I remember that body and instead of catching with my hand. So here's CJ Mouth later today or tomorrow. So I don't know. No, I did not. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Blake Gillikin. Oh, this one, because they paid me. How y'all doing? Hey, Blake. You look like the punter's most.